All right, so welcome everyone. Welcome to our live broadcast here. This is Joe Gukaskis with with the Awakened Star Seeds. It's oh, it's getting my volume here. <laughs> the Awakened Star Seeds Psychics Light Worker Spiritual Support Group. I want to welcome everyone to those that are watching live. It's always a joy and a pleasure to have you on here. Um, as you can see, I do have someone with me, which I'll introduce here in just a moment. But before I bring her on, I just want to tell a quick story that, you know, being that this is a group of psychics and intuitives here in this group, I I totally believe in divine timing. And it's so funny because I was thinking in my mind, I'm like, I want to go ahead and just interview people within the group and feature them. And, you know, just if that person has a really strong message to share, then I'd love to just, you know, I have this medium, I have this. I have this um, platform. I even have my radio show. I'm like, let me just go to and uh, feature them, you know? And next thing you know, you know, talking about divine timing, I, I get this I am. And, you know, I'm going to introduce the guest here in a moment, but I, I get this I am from this woman. And it's like, hey, I, I have this thing going on. I want to be featured and I, I'd love to share my story. And I was like, well, talking about divine timing, right? <laughs> if that's not a message to share something, then I was like, okay, this is it. So we we got on the phone or we got on a live chat. I loved what she had to say. And um, so without further ado, I'd like to go ahead and introduce my guest here. Um, this is Batista Grimond, and I'm gonna have her introduce more about herself in a moment. Um, she's a master body designer, co-founder of International Institute of of body design, also certified in uh, personal training. And uh, part of her expertise is strength training, includes structural realignment of the spine, getting rid of back pain without surgery and, pre and injury prevention. Now you might think, okay, so what does this have to do with energy? Well, what piqued my interest is that she's also an energy worker and she combines, you know, a lot of this intuitive work, this um, energy work, and I'm going to have her talk about her YouTube channel here in a moment, but she's even talking about chakras, planetary level alignment, sacred geometry. I'm like, whoa, who is this woman, right? So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and interview her here, but I'm also going to be taking notes. I'm like, okay, Bill, we just got to bring her on and 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 uh, feature here, feature her on the show. Um, hi, Lynn, welcome. Good to see you there. Um, so, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. And you? Uh, you did tell me that story about putting it out there that you wanted to interview people from the group. You never told me that. <laughs> yeah, it, it was just one of those Amazing. things. It, it's yeah. it's uh, divine timing, I, I like to say. <laughs> I like that. That's good. Yeah. So, well, why don't you go to tell us about yourself? Just introduce so this for the audience, whether they're watching live or they're going to watch later on. Uh, yeah, tell us about yeah. yourself. What's your background? So I'm going to start by telling you my background and how I came about all this. I was, my whole life, I was an entertainer. I was a professional flamenco dancer. Okay, so that right. was my profession. Yeah. But, but as a hobby, I was always fascinated by energy work and uh, metaphysical science and comparative religion. I was brought up in an extremely Catholic environment. But there were there were also some paranormal things that were happening, and in a small town of Switzerland, which is kind of really kind of you can imagine it's very conservative and you know very, very Catholic the whole environment. So it was it was just a real it was actually really hard being brought up yeah. in that environment, and it brought up a lot of um, questions for me. I left, I left Switzerland when I was 16 years old. I had to go find my own way because it was just too crazy. So since, since ever. And hence the ac accent, everybody, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't get rid of it. So it, it, we're, stuck, we're stuck with it. Uh, yeah. so, but since ever, my passion was always to, you know, find really the truth because I knew that the way I was brought up, there was something that, that wasn't connecting for me. So as a result, I have uh, studied and I don't like to say studied because it wasn't studying. It was just really immerse, immersing myself 
sure. in the <laughs> knowledge of, you know, uh, uh, of uh, Kabbalah and Gnosis and shamanism and hands-on healing. And I worked with a guru for a long time. And, you know, so it, it, it was this period of time in my life where I, I totally um, embraced all these various practices in search mm. of the truth. And after a while, sure. there was always like, oh, now I got to go do something else because I felt like I was always reaching like a wall. You know, I, I would learn and learn yeah. and learn. And then it's like, okay, so I've learned all this and now I still need more answers. And so then I went to, you know, the next thing and the next thing. So that was my life, you know, dancing by night and <laughs> <laughs> meditating on my free time. And that was, sure. that was, that was my passion. And, yeah, and that's what, a, it's like a typical journey, right? You start out. I, I grew up Catholic as well. Okay, and, you, so know, you know, like this, all this psychic stuff, like you know, psychic, uh, but you know that it's not accepted by religion per se. So yeah, it yeah, does, especially when uh, you bring come up with lots a, of questions. It does because, especially for uh, you know, like in in America or at least in California, there's a lot of open mindedness about things like this. But when you come sure. from a little village where everybody know um, each other and the stories. And, you know, there was some paranormal things happening in our home and it was just like the, the talk of the town and, oh, just, you know, but that's not why we're here. We, I yeah. want to move on. Yeah. So, yeah. so the thing is what happened to me and it was kind of like waking up from a dream, okay? One day I found myself a little bit older, <laughs> you know, and, I was dancing my, my entire life. I had quite a bit of injuries. Mm. And, um, and one day I found myself in a meditation room and meditating and I, I've become very good at, at uh, reading auras, reading past life, clearing energies, uh, channeling. And, you know, I, I, I've, I've gotten pretty good at that. And, uh, but it's like I woke up and I realized that I was in a lot of pain. My body was escaping me. I was gaining weight. I wasn't getting, I wasn't able to get rid of my injuries. And then I looked around and I saw that pretty much everybody in that room were in, in the same boat that I was, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So we were, we were good at, at the psychic stuff, but we ob obviously weren't that good about taking care of our own bodies and nurturing body it stuff. so that the body yeah. stuff. Okay. Yeah. I love how you uh, said that the psychic stuff. I say that all the time too. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, and at that moment it was just like an awakening for me. Right. And I, and I thought to myself, if everything that I've learned in the last 40 years is true, then there's got to be, something out there that can give me my body back. I got to be able to manifest it because that's what yeah. we do. We manifest. So yeah. if I can't manifest that, then that totally de um, negate my entire journey of the last 40 years. Right? Right. Yeah. Well, and your body's energy. So when I exactly. use energy. Yeah. So I had a, me I was hosting a meditation group at the time and, and uh, I said, okay, the, the, the topic of tonight's meditation is mm -hmm. <laughs> manifesting the piece of the puzzle missing in the equation of the body, mind, spirit, the body. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so I, we were like a whole group and we put the energy that that was, was going to come, come through. And the very next day I met this bodybuilder. <laughs> <laughs> by accident, but there's no accident, right? Exactly. And, well, it's that whole divine timing thing I talked about. Exactly. <laughs> you know, and I wasn't expecting the answers to come in the form of a bodybuilder, you know. Sure. But in a, in yeah. a way, to make a story, a long story uh, short, uh, we made eye contact and, you know, he came to my table. I was at a job site where I was dancing. And uh, and he said, well, who are you? You know, big muscles. And I said, well, I'm Batista. And, you know, who are you? And he said, I am an international body designer. 
body designer. That's a I, interesting that's title. I said, that's what I need. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I need. Yeah. It was the answer. Talk about the whole for. body thing, right? Yeah. The whole body thing. So I became, you know, I said, okay, that wasn't what I was expecting, but I prayed for it. I wanted to manifest it. So this is it. I'm not going to turn my back. I'm going to move forward with this. And I hired him. Okay. And, uh, and that was the beginning of this incredible journey. And now we're married. So, you yes. know, so I didn't yes. expect a husband <laughs> on top of it. Um, but I learned... I, I, to me, what I learned was really that piece of the puzzle missing. I could tell you that within a couple of weeks, my injuries were all gone. I got my body back, but much more than just getting my body back, I started to really understand the connection mm. between the the psychic world and and the body. You know, we we yeah. a, a lot of times we say the body's the temple. And we use this so lightly, you know, and, and we don't even realize that it really is the temple, you yeah. know, it really is. And, uh, and we, as above, so below, you know, everything is connected. And we, yes. as we read aura and we read the person's energy field, what we are not realizing is the energy field is actually an extension of the physical field. We have we have different bodies, you know. As you know, we have the physical body, the uh, etheric body, astral, you know, the the seven bodies. Sure. But it, it, they are not separate from from one another. And right. uh, definitely connected. You know, and so. Yeah. It, it, it got me thinking because Stephen, my husband, who is Dr. Fitness USA, he's the brand and this is now the program that I teach. And the program that I teach and helping people recover their body by grounding the body so that they can actually hold the psychic energy. What happens is when we work with energy, and that's what was happening to me when I woke up in that room, is that when we, when we work with energies, we work like... Um, high vibration frequencies right and right. i and i like to compare it to the electrical box in your house okay if mm -hmm. your electrical wiring is old and it needs to be uh, updated and then you're going to plug in too many appliances then you're going to blow a fuse sure yeah and this is what happens to us when we work with energy and if we don't learn to strengthen our body and strengthen our nervous system so that we can actually hold the energies then we blow fuses and that manifests in different ways in different people you know some yeah. people might just gain weight you know I had tons of injuries some people might just get depressed or yeah. they might, you know, they can't because they can't hold the energy. So it might or sit, you know. It, yeah. Everybody's it it shows in in a different way with everybody. But there are consequences. Yeah, you know, in my um, radio show earlier, I actually mentioned I touched on that topic a little bit. That um, a lot of healers, it's it's really prevalent in the healing community actually. That there's actually a lot of overweight healers. Have you seen that? Have you noticed that yourself? Totally. And, totally. And what's going on is it's less about they're not eating well or, you know, diet, whatever. It's mm -hmm. that they're taking on so much energy. They're absorbing a lot of people's energy. So I love what you said that your body is your temple. Because as a healer, as an energy worker, light worker, you do have to take care of your body. Sure, like it's there's you could get really enamored with these higher energies that you mentioned. Yes. Yeah, you could really start to damage and do damage to your body. Like you said, get sick, illnesses, weight gain, all that is really real. So Absolutely. You know, you're talking about um, grounding the body. So can you say more about that or just the grounding techniques? And, you know, let's get into some of like your actual body work. I, I think people yes. would love to hear this. Yeah, absolutely. So with a system that we teach, so you, for, for your audience, so you know, it yeah. is based on strength training, bodybuilding. Yeah. Okay, so we yeah. work with weights. 
but it is completely entirely different than anything that you've ever heard in the in the fitness industry. By the way, let and me pause you real quick. I'll pause. Joe here, Joe Hall. She said, "I hardly eat. I and I am overweight. They cannot find anything wrong with me." <laughs> Very <laughs> co so common. I hear that so absolutely, many times. Yeah. absolutely. You see, when when we work with people with uh, that are overweight, we don't even talk about weight loss. We don't. Yeah. We talk about yeah. ground the body first. Yeah. You know, strengthen the the nervous system work on realigning your posture and your body because realignment that's what we that's what we do psychically for people but we talk about it in terms of um, of the chakras and you right. know when when the chakras are aligned and we are in alignment with the universe and all this and yet we're like this you know yeah. <laughs> that that's going to really do it it doesn't you know it's all right. connected so we work on a complete different premise we work on restructuring the body putting it back in proper alignment and what happens i you know it is so much to talk about but one of the uh, foundational principle of this and i will talk about that before we go back to the grounding because sure, it's, yeah, it's relevant yeah. yeah it's the yin yang the male female energy and how we how that affects not only our body but the workout or what we do in terms of exercise okay Which, and i will just way, everyone when she talked when we were talked earlier she talked about male female energy i'm like okay yep she knows what she's talking about so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah I'm, I'm loving what i'm hearing so far it, yeah so i will just make, make this very simple okay yeah. think about it the person wants to get in shape, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to hire a personal trainer. I'm going to go for hikes. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Do, 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 okay? Yeah. Then the personal trainer is going to come on more. <laughs> yeah. More, you know? The whole entire fitness industry is ba based on male energy. Doing, competing, achieving, all that is male energy. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Male energy is doing, female energy, uh, male, uh, male energy is giving, competing, female energy is receiving. Receiving, yeah. Okay? Yeah. And this is, and especially for women, very hard to do because as women, we're givers. We want to take, especially in, uh, in the psychic realm, uh, you know, yeah. we want to heal. We want heal. to mm -hmm. fix everybody. We want to, you know, and then we have children and now we have to give to the children. And right. you know what I mean? So it's all male energy. And now we want to get in shape and we're going to go hire a personal trainer or even get into a yoga class where now we have to twist ourselves in pretzels and we have to, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's all male energy. So the first thing that we need to understand is that we, we, we can't do that. We need to put back the balance. So when we teach to work out, we teach to work out from a female perspective. We teach specifically women. For men, you know, it works a little bit the same way, especially when the man grows older because he, he mm. produces less testosterone. So, sure. you know, the man, when he gets a little older, he kind of gets, he, he's, the natural tendency is to run more feminine energies as well, you know? So, uh, so we teach it a little bit different for men than women when it's about sure. the workout, yeah. but it's always about being empowered and never doing anything that's uncomfortable because a lot of times men in the gym too, you know, it's all based on ego, right? Sure. So yeah. Forget that. Forget that. So that's the first thing. So, but it doesn't mean that the workouts are not challenging and empowering. Yeah. No. They are very empowering. As a matter of fact, with the system and the sequence of exercise that my husband uh, 
developed over the last 50 years because he's 70 now and he's been doing this his whole life, you know? So he, yeah. he really knows the stuff. He's got the sequence of exercise uh, down, exactly the weight range, the weight ratio, uh, everything. The f It's so precise. He's got it down to a science. When you do it that way, it is so comfortable, but you will increase your strength by 20 to 50 percent wow. and sometimes in 20 minutes mm -hmm. when we work with people online we have to be a little more conservative and we can achieve similar results in six weeks which is amazing so that means that if you're a person that has never worked out with weight okay you, yeah. you may have done something different but specifically with weight and you get into a gym and you cannot lift like uh, like you, for example your leg pressing 30 pounds or 40 pounds which is very typical for somebody that doesn't work out you know uh in 20 minutes if we're working with a person one-on-one -on -one, or in six weeks if we're working online that person will now be leg pressing probably close to 200 pounds wow Okay, comfortably. The way we do it, because the ergonomics are are in place and the body is protected and you have a back support and everything, what that does, it realigns the spine. It's like a massage. Mm -hmm. So your vertebrae go back into place. But it's so emp empowering, it quiets the mind. And it's like this every time. The mind all of a sudden goes very, very quiet and it's like a meditation i was gonna say it sounds like we're working where uh you're working out but it's like a spiritual experience totally yeah. and that grounds the body you see mm -hmm. because the sequence of sure. exercise the energy comes from the ground up so if you can strengthen you know like when we run energy in the spiritual spiritual i don't know how you do it but the way i do it is you bring the energies from from the ground up from the root yep <laughs> from the root and then you bring yeah. it from up and then you circulate it through circulate exactly. it. yeah mm. so in working out is the same so the sequence of exercise is always very carefully planned so in the beginning we would start with something like a leg press to bring that energy up and in very interestingly enough depending on how well or how far you can go with that first exercise it usually di dictates the entire pace of the rest of the workout so we can see so you ground the body you bring the energy from the bottom up with like in this instance a leg press for example then you would have a couple of more exercises to follow that and and like we call them auxiliary exercises, you know, like to kind of put things back into place. And then we would come and do something else, maybe with a chest press, you know, because we store a lot of emotions in the chest also. So if you can actually push like a chest press or a dumbbells or anything, there's a certain amount of weight that the person needs to press in order to release the emotions from the, from the chest. And oh, it's amazing as, as a psychic. So it's a healing I, thing too. <laughs> exactly. As a psychic, wow. I see it. So the reaction sometimes the people don't really necessarily know that that's what's happening, you know. But right, sometimes right. They, they start laughing hysterically or they, they cry and they go, whoa, what happens, you know. Then I finally caught on, you know. I was like, wow, we are actually releasing the, the emotional trauma stored in the muscle tissue in the body it's profound very cool, very profound. cool. Uh, i'm just looking at the time here okay so we have we have a uh, six minutes left but you know in the time that we have left i'd love to hear like a before and after story maybe like a, a client that you had um client success story and i think oh that, wow that will okay be a good well, way to kind of wrap up here then we have a lot reach but out to you. I will give you that uh, specific story. Uh, it's um, a very high-end dentist. Sure. 
and uh, she suffered she's 50 she's 57 now she was uh, about 49 when she came to us she had suffered a burned out so she was uh, she ended up in a hospital she was on we were seeing a psychiatrist she was on medication and then uh, she also had a really bad injury on her shoulder three surgeons had told her to have immediate surgery and we met her at that crucial time you know she had just come out of the hospital she was like so freaked out on medication, everything. And uh, she started working with us. And uh, it took, for the shoulder, it maybe took about six months, but her shoulder, she never went in, um, she went on, never went for surgery. Her shoulder wow. is completely healed. And within maybe six to eight months, she was able to slowly get, get off the drugs. Mm, that's big. She is now on the program, still working out at Gold's Gym. She's a very thin Asian woman, you know. <laughs> she's not like your bodybuilder. Yeah. She's very beautiful, very pretty. Uh, she's 50, some maybe 57, 58 now. She doesn't look a day over 40. She literally regained 40 years of her life, got rid of her injuries, wow. got her, her, her mind back, and she's on top of the world. Awesome. So, so when we say that our program uh, gets you 20 to 50 percent stronger, it's true, and we document yeah. it. You will look and feel 15 years younger. It's true. <laughs> yeah. Because we can prove it, and and um, and potentially achieve a pain-free life, and that's yeah. true too. It's amazing. <laughs> body mind and spirit so all, all things that you just you st uh, stated at the top so yeah all right well um why don't you go ahead and uh, sum up like what we talked about today and and maybe if people want to reach out to you how can they find you okay so the website is drfitnessusa.com doctor is the short version dr so that's our website drfitnessusa.com also if you are intrigued about the topic i have a facebook group the esoteric principles of bodybuilding it's esoteric a 13 principles of bodybuilding Great. and it's an it's a 13 part series that i have done uh, to, it plays on Friday at um, 2 p.m. live. There is, this Friday is the 10th episode, so then there's four mo three more. But you can watch the, uh, the past episodes, and we talk about all this grounding, the yin yang, chakras, posture, you know, all this. And each episode goes really in depth, sacred geometry. Yeah, doing... sacred geometry. <laughs> Saw that one. We did that. We did that last week, and uh, next this Friday, my husband Stephen is going to be the guest, and he's going to be speaking more specific specifically about um, uh, weight range ratio. You know, more like the the real stuff that we do. You know, and why it works. So, if you want to join the Facebook group, that'd be great because why not? We're here to share. And uh, or on the website, you can also uh, schedule a 30 minutes free consultation if you want to talk about how we might be able to help you. And we also have a, over 300 videos on YouTube. So we are like everywhere, you know, it, uh, Dr. Yeah. Fitness USA, just everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Awesome. Okay. Well, everyone, yeah, like, like uh, Batista said here, if you want to reach out to her, it's Dr. Fitness USA or you could uh, find her on her Facebook group and say your Facebook group one more time. Esoteric Principles of Bodybuilding. All right, Esoteric Principles of Bodybuilding. Not only is it bodybuilding, but it's also body, mind, spirit connection. And as we emphasize today, a lot, lot of it is on the spirit. So very cool. Well, Batista, thank you so much for coming on. It was a pleasure having you on here, sharing your story, sharing your method. And for those of you watching, whether live or on the recording, you know, definitely check out her website. And likewise, if you want to schedule a session with me, you know, Batista has all the physical stuff. I have all the energy stuff here <laughs> on my end. Definitely check me out on trueinsights.net and you can schedule an energy healing there. All right, Batista. Well, thank you again. Thank you.
I will talk to you soon. Okay. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.